what is going on guys nameless here bringing you guys a brand new video now you know i'm always trying to improve your gameplay trying to teach you guys things so today with vanguard having come out this weekend i've been grinding trying to figure out the best settings and things like that for you guys so i'm going to run through my settings how you can get the frames that i'm getting as you see in the top left wow. that's 330 plus baby so let's figure it out all right so let's run through the graphic settings off the rip as you can see when i'm in game i'm getting 300 plus frames the lowest it'll go down to is like 260 270 um so full screen um i have a 240 hertz monitor so i'm gonna play at 240 refresh rate uh obviously tweak that to what you're on if you're on 144 put on 144 uh v-sync off v-sync menus off frame rate limit i have that on 300 in game um actually it should be up that was up i don't know why it's not but put that up as high as you can go uh that's what i do uh, or as just as high as you think your graphics card can handle uh put the frame rate 60 in the menu and then minimize put it on 30 that works there uh aspect ratio i just have it on automatic um and then brightness i tweak my brightness a lot but i i, I find that when the game's too bright i can't see people when the game's above like 60 brightness it's very hard to see people at range especially so mine's on 54 i don't like to see the call of duty vanguard logo in that dark square on the far left so i just kind of leave that there um other than that everything else here is basically standard um and then let's move over to quality now quality presets custom because you're going to be changing things um render resolution should just be on 100 um that should just be locked like it is on mine a uh, texture resolution on medium now you'll have a lot of people telling you that you should put everything on low i'm here to tell you don't do that your game is not going to look great it's just not going to be enjoyable right if you have a 2080 series or above graphics card follow these settings exactly of, as to what i have if you have below that in a graphics card then you might want to lower these one to low but i wouldn't go all the way on very low it's just not going to be a good experience so text resolution i have it on medium and anastropic medium particle medium particle resolution low bullet impacts and sprays on because you i want to know where my bullets are going shader quality i have that on low tessellation i have that on nearby only just so my game is enjoyable uh level of distance long range or detail distance range i have mine on long i want to be able to decipher what's a person and what is an object on the map from range and that's what this is going to do for you uh nearby level of detail i have that on low just because I, I know that that's a, an inanimate object by me. I don't need to know. Uh, distance level of detail, low. Uh, clutter draw distance, low. Uh, value metric quality level on medium. Uh, see the detail level of lighting, fog, and clouds. Uh, that's just so the sun doesn't blind me as I'm running around the map. Um, but as you can see in the uh, explanation in the picture right there, that's just going to make it look better. You're not going to have as much cloudy stuff through the sun and smoke and when somebody throws a nade and it blows up you might be able to see through it a split second faster than the guy who has this on low so i have mine on medium uh, screen space shadows i have that on shadow map resolution i have that on medium i just figured for character shadows and models like that that i would probably want to have that on medium i don't even know if that's exactly what it helps with but i noticed that it didn't really change my uh frame rate at all when i turned it all the way on very low so i have that on medium uh but if you want to get some more frames you can put that on very low because it's probably not that important sun shadow cascades low cast sun shadows i have that off cast spot shadows i have that off spot cache size i have that on medium i'm actually going to put that one to low uh just because you don't need it that high uh spot shadow quality low particle lighting i have that on medium that's the same thing when there's grenade smoke or smoke coming out of a barrel like that you want to be able to see through it properly so keep that on medium don't turn that on low ambient occlusion i have that on off screen space reflection i have that on low and i put my dlss on performance um it's uh, it says it's recommended for uh 4k gameplay but i found that my frames were actually better when i had this on performance uh i'm not exactly sure why my game looks better when it's on this mo on this setting right here so you guys can tweak that uh this is going to be like a preference thing um if you put this on balanced it's probably going to give you the best of both worlds but for somebody who's not playing in 4k for performance to give me the best looking game and just just performing at a high rate i like performance right now that isn't the setting you technically should go with but that's what i'm going with so i'm telling you guys what i'm using so you can play around with this and see what you like uh moving down depth of field i have that on um this is basically out of focus regions will appear blurry you can turn that off if you don't want it to be like that it's a preference thing um but let's move over why i changed a couple things 
um so field of view i have mine on 120 i like my game to feel super fast for you extremely competitive people out there playing in challengers you should probably play it put this on 100 uh the most pros will probably be between 90 and 105 uh, but i play on 120 just because that's what i play on in warzone um and i don't find it to give me that much of a disadvantage going up against uh you know really good players or people who are uh grinding to try to become a pro i still uh play well on 120 i just like the way it looks uh world most these all have to be off low latency world uh weapon motion blur and world motion blur turn both of those th all three of those things off um then moving over that's the graphic settings guys so when you guys put these settings on please post in the comments what frames you guys are getting um and let me know what you guys think about those settings because i personally think that they are absolutely perfect and you guys are going to be able to see and play better than you have since the game has launched now let's move over though let's go over to the audio matt we'll go through this super quick because you guys should just copy these tip for tat master volume 100 music volume zero dialogue i mean this is just all preference right hit marker sounds i have mine on vanguard uh, a lot of people like classic uh, audio mix put it on the headphones um all this is just voice chat stuff if you want that voice chat value microphone volume just tweak that to your liking um interface uh right here i mean the only thing i just have on my fps counter um, my server latency and packet loss that's really all you need uh, but if you guys want to turn on some other um, interface things here you can turn them on just so you know what your computer is going through as you're playing moving over to controller settings i know a lot of you guys want to see this okay so target aim assist on um ads aim assist on weapon mount activation ads plus melee i don't even think i changed any of this stuff right here uh automatic airborne mantle i have that on partial um which basically means it'll only make you mantle if you if it could prevent a fall which is pretty good uh mantle stance queuing on automatic tactical sprint this is an absolute must guys i mean here let's just go here real quick like as soon as you click forward on your joystick if you have an available sprint it's going to make you automatically tactical sprint which is just a game changer um you can get around the map way faster uh it helps you slide cancel into faster movement afterwards like it's just it's a game changer it's an evolution in the controller um settings it's just something everybody should be running it's it's a game changer if you haven't turned that on yet make sure you turn that on uh so we have that on moving over we have auto move forward off uh pushing the movement left stick forward will not continuously make you forward single tap so i didn't mean just have this off i don't i, don't, I just don't want to change anything that drastic uh sprint cancels reload on uh sprinting door bash on slide behavior tap this is way better than what the normal mechanic is where it just continue, it just allows you to slide cancel we all know how good slide canceling is so i play on tactical so when i slide cancel i hit my my slide once on my right stick and then i hit it again and it, it just stops so i'm able to pop out and just be ready for a gunfight at any moment so definitely turn that on um that is going to be the two game changing settings here in the controller uh, side of things and these are more war zone things equipment behavior stuff like that interact tap the reload uh yada 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 so there you go guys uh that's the controller settings and other than that i mean i think we're basically good uh we got to go through these ones um i plan 6.6 six, um 1.0 i think it just works best for me you guys can copy this and tweak it to your liking a good way to go through your sensitivities is just to start really high so start at like 10 10 and then go down and see what you like best in public matches uh button lay layout preset i play a tactical flip uh you put it on tactical and you click square and you come here and you turn it to on if you plan flip um i play on dynamic most pro players do play on dynamic uh, i just find it to be better um let's see ads sensitivity transition timing i haven't even played with this but i just have that on instant uh left trigger dead zone okay guys so this is what you're gonna want to change as well so you're gonna want to put that on zero and zero so you're not delayed in your shooting or anything like that um just change both of these to zero uh left stick minimum dead zone you're gonna have to tweak this a little bit but definitely have this low it starts off at 20 on both turn this below 10 on both of them unless you have a brand new controller and the sticks are a little bit wonky put this on like five guys and keep it there uh left stick max input dead zone and right stick input dead zone um, you want to lower it from where it's at, but you're just going to have to go down and tweak it. Basically, that's just going to allow you, the lower you have it, to move faster in your strafe. It'll just give you faster there and then faster aim. So it's just going to be like, it's going to be a lot of preference. So you're going to have to lower it and see where you like it. I mean, you could like this all the way down to like 60, 50. Uh, but for me, I'm at 85 right now. 
uh when it was all the way up at 99 it felt very uncomfortable so just start off here and then if you're feeling like it's moving a little bit too fast move it back up guys and you'll be able to find exactly what you like there all right as you can see on a very small map oh. as you can see on a chaotic map like this there's a lot of things going on a lot of noises gunfire and things like that i'm still getting a ton of frames i just got gun <laughs> where do people camp at on these maps guys I I I'm getting packet first. There we go. Come on now. But yeah, guys, there you have it, man. That is going to be the end of the video there, man. Much love and appreciation to you guys coming out and support. Make sure you leave a like and a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. More are on the way. It's Vanguard season. We on our grind, man. I'll see you guys next one.